Uh, we're making the rubber seals and how they attach to the cowling on the inside of the cowling, engine cowling. And in the process, we got the print out and was making the parts. And then we got an old cowling out, and the old cowling is not like the print. So we found out that there's three different, two or three different ways that they've done them. And we're doing it by the print that we have, which has the rivets an inch apart, where they got the print, the uh, rivets like two and a half inches apart. So that made the joggles on the ends with joggles or without joggles. So this, this is the old one here. This will fit this rubber seal. I'm gonna put it on the bottom, but it'll actually be between these two parts. And it will fit in there like that. And then when to put the cowling on, this will seal against the inner ring on the engine to seal out the air and heat yeah. and whatever. So now the joggle was there because of where the rivet location was. Yeah, was was here like because of our rivet location where their rivet location is two or two and a half more. inches here. So you don't need a joggle to go up over this outer part here on it. Mm -hmm. And where you're putting the rivets, you require a joggle now. Yes, because we're putting them an inch apart according to the print that we have, which I think looks better and seems to me like it'll seal better, but. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. So it's just a difference in the manufacturing. Right, because we got three different cowlings out and all three of them are done a little bit different. One of them is real close to the print and the other two are different. So During okay. the war, they were made by three different companies. So they, we could have had to. Boeing. Yeah. And I'm not so sure if this particular cowling isn't off a C-47 instead of a, a B-17 maybe or something because they were interchangeable and stuff from what I've heard. Yep. So it's possible that too or something.